Alright, it's 4.49 a.m. I'm sitting in front of my cousin's house. I'm picking him up this morning. I'm a little early, supposed to be here at 5 o'clock. But if I'm going fishing, either I'm early or I'm dead. If I'm not there on time, call the morgue because that's where I'm at. Here he comes now. We're heading down to Lake Hermitage, an area I don't fish at all. But he fishes a lot and he's apparently on a pretty good redfish bite. So that's what we're going down to do. Going to be throwing artificials all day. Catching some beautiful Louisiana redfish. I personally can't wait. It should be a fun day. All right, so my cousin, <laughs> who I'm guessing doesn't have too much experience with boat trailers, just pulled mine out and promptly ran it into a hose spigot. So he's over there helping the owner of the place switch out the pipe leading to the spigot, the PVC. So we're a little bit delayed on our uh, on our takeoff. I got it? Yeah. I think so. No, apparently not. That's the repair. He's in good shape. I think the only damage I got is this. Yeah, I think there's a little side of I guess that's the reason they make that angle like that so it ricochet. <laughs> you might be right. You're probably right. Thanks for the help. Good luck today. All right, so we're just making it into a series of canals here near Lake Hermitage. The sun's just popping up. Boy, is it a beautiful sunrise. Hopefully you can see that. This canal system has some gorgeous water. And we came out of a little lake into this. It dropped from three feet to about 15 feet. So you know I like that. We can hit a little flat right here, throw some topwater baits, and then I think we're going to work the edge of the canal heading into this canal system and hopefully pick up some reds. But Bubby's been catching trout in this whole area and I gotta tell you it looks very trouty I wouldn't mind starting the day with a topwater trout oh missed it yeah I don't, oh <laughs> two blow-ups not big fish this episode of Marshman Masson brought to you by Puglia Sporting Goods one of the guys at the launch launching a kayak recognized me and he's like oh man it makes me feel better seeing you fishing here i said dude this is my first time here i know nothing about this place top water think it's a red lost him he missed it he missed it how rude. Bubby, I tell you, I'm not throwing a blade long if you're getting blow-ups on top. I'm trying to keep them honest. I'm taking one for the team. <laughs> there he is. There he is, Bub. That's a red. That's not a trout. Come on, big boy. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. I tell you, I cannot turn this fish. I tell you what. The, uh, this might be a beast. I've been saying since I started fishing that the redfish and the lake are really Really? All right, now he's swimming at me. You know what he's going to do? He's going to go under the boat. He's going to do his best to break my rod. So Bubby and I didn't even bring an ice chest today. This is all catch and release. Oh, that's a good looking fish, but I'd love to get a tag in him and let him go. Hopefully he allows that to happen. Yeah. It's a big bull. I think he's over 27. So I don't know if you can hear Bubby. He said that the redfish in Lake Hermitage fight harder than any reds he's caught anywhere else. And I got to tell you, based on this one fight, I think he might be right. Now this fish is done now, but I couldn't budge him. And he's not that big. He's not nearly as big as I thought he was. Yeah. Fish number one of the day. You know what? We don't even have a ruler. So I can't tell you how long he is. Because I didn't bring an ice chest. He was hooked perfectly. He's going to get a tag and be sent on his way. So Bubby's a big kayak fisherman. And this place is kind of a kayak wonderland. You've got really everything you could possibly need very close to the launch. 
deep water, shallow water, clean water, bait, moving water. What else could you want? Fish. It's got fish. You got all those other factors, you're gonna have fish. Birdie birdies. What you feeding on? And they're actually dipping. All right, let's go see. Let's make a beeline. There's gotta be some trout in here. Let's see a definite slick. How deep? That's it. Hard not to spook them in two feet of water. Look at all the shrimp. Look at them. Look. Look everywhere. Look at the shrimp. Look at that. Look. <laughs> but there's got to be more trout in here. Throw this giant top water. <laughs> Looks just like a shrimp. Whoo! Oh, double. Got us a double, bub. Oh, you missed him? Either I got a little red or a trout. It looks like a trout. It sure is. Speckled trout, baby. Keep a trout on a blade. How about that? And you had a good explosion. It looked like a trout to me. It looked like a nice trout. Oh, that's a nice trout, dude. Yeah, he's full of shrimp. Man, I don't know how yours missed it. It was a, it was a takedown. Said too early? I've never done that, ever. Never in my whole life. <laughs> I mean, never today. Oh, how'd you miss it? That fish is not as big. Definitely trout. Oh. Well, if you count the one over there, you're over four. <laughs> but who's keeping track? Oh, Bob, get him, get him, get him. He's hooked up. Yeah, finally. That's a trout. Yeah. That's a trout. We got to lay eyes on him. Nothing like it, huh? Top water baits. Dude, that's pretty. Top. Gotta love it. Nice too, man. Look at him. Top Dog Jr., what color is that? It's kind of a mullet. It's like a greenish black back. Yeah, green back, black, and chrome is what's on the back. Okay. 70, look, look at the shrimp, shrimp again, look, everywhere, look at them. Oh, I hope that comes out on camera. Look at this. Wow. A fish would merely have to open its mouth and swim. If we had a cast net, we'd be eating like kings. This episode of Marshman Masson brought to you by Matrix Shad and by Seto New Orleans and by Versamax Quartz. And by Death Grip Jig Heads. Oh, there's a fish, bub. There's one. Right where he should have been. I'm betting small red, but he could be a trout. He's he's uh he's got bananas on the surface, but he feels redfish-like. Let's see. He is a red. He's a keeper, Red. He will get a tag and be set free. I'm gonna let him go. Come on, trolling motor. You can do it. They're impaling your skin. Impaling your line. Oh man, look at that! Look at that! Look at this boy. He is not happy. That's a perfect eater right there. I tell you what, that's about a, an 18 inch red. He'll be here waiting for you because I'm putting a tag in him. In all honesty, these are the size I most enjoy catching. I'd rather catch these than 30 inches. You see that little more slender than the Delacro red? Yeah, definitely, no doubt. <laughs> yeah, he's a little bigger than 18. He's probably about 19 or 20. But we'll never know. All right, let's see what number you're going to be. You can tell all your buddies. 
Tell all your buddies you are LC486959. It's a great number. See ya. What self-respect in redfish could not be on this point? Is that a perfect point or what? That's a perfect point. Tons of bait. <laughs> I should give it to you. Well, I'm just gonna mess the hooks then. Oh, there he is. We called it. We called it. That's where he is. Another keeper, but not a big one. Yeah, maybe not a keeper. I don't know. Be a little short. Might be a little, but look how fat he's been eating. He has been eating. And yet he wanted more. Yeah, I'm gonna say 15. What do you think? Yeah. See you, dude. Thanks for the fight. So I gotta tell you, there's something about this single gold H and H blade. Gold Colorado, quarter ounce jig head, along with the Limbo Slice Matrix Shad that Redfish just can't resist. Now this one's all banged up. Look how it's bent, and I can't even get it to stay closed. See, I'll close it, but it'll be open after the next cast. So it's gonna cost me a fish, I know it, at some point. So just remind me of what an idiot I am when I lose that big one. Now I got a feel and the water's going from this pond into that canal. So I think we're... I think we'll work this bank then, huh? You like that anyway, don't you? Yeah, okay. I would assume this little cut has a little deeper water than the rest of the pond. Let's see if we can get something on a cord. We'll just drift through. I love these Versamax corks, this bolt. There he is. Uh, whitey, white trout. A little 10 inch white trout like this. Boy, I'll tell you if I had my ice chest, he would go in the box. I love these. Sweet meat. But you get a reprieve, buddy. That's a little better fish. Huh, he's acting strange. Could be a bigger white trout because he doesn't come up at all. Spec, what was it? We could probably sit here and catch a limited trout. Another whitey. Prettier whitey. <laughs> There's a million of them. Silly. I don't know why, but that shrimp creole, it's it's a good bait year round, but it's it's exceptional in the fall. They obviously think it looks like a white shrimp, even though it looks nothing like a white shrimp to me. Alright, so look, this is my first time fishing Lake Hermitage, but I promise you it won't be my last. I'm smitten with this place. All Bubby and I did was come into a pond off of a canal, made one quick pass through the pond, caught a bunch of reds, a bunch of speckled trout, even some white trout. And look, we saw more shrimp than you see at a shrimp dock. Just incredible. I mean, this the amount of bait in this pond is truly mind-boggling. And I've seen a lot of bait in other ponds this year. I don't think I've seen this much ever in my life. And Bubby hasn't been fishing here all that long. When, when did you start fishing here? Just April of this year. That's it? That's it. First time you came here, did you catch them? First time I came here, I had a limit by April. Redfish? Yeah, you catch a limit of reds by 8 o'clock, you're going to come back. And uh, he's been coming back ever since. So this place, I'm sure, is underfished. I know it is. Terribly. Terribly, Bubby says. <laughs> not, that he, not that he necessarily wants you coming here, but between you and me, come back here. These fish have kind of turned off. Oh, except for that one. That one did not turn off. Man, you hit a lot harder than your size, buddy. 
You were punching up. You were definitely punching up. Thanks for the fight. I'll let you live. Nice. Oh, look at that. Look at that red. He chased you. Oh, he hit me. Yeah, I see the ripple. I didn't see the tail. Look, 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 look. <laughs> Dude, something's smashing that shrimp. That's got to be trout, though. There he is. There he is. He is spunky. He was right on the point of this drain. Gorgeous water. Perfect redfish situation. Did you hit that? Still a lot bigger than you. Yeah, no doubt. They do. I, I got to grant you that. Look at the spot on this fish's tail. I think I'm just going to hoist you. That's a big spot. <laughs> shaped like Africa. <laughs> it is. It's shaped like Africa. Look how pretty this fish is. And look at the spot on this fish's tail. Let me show you this. It's actually both sides. It's got a giant spot. Let me unhook him so I don't get hooked. Look, shaped like Africa, Bubby says. I think he's right. Pretty fish. Stick a tag in him. Come on, big boy. No, I mean, she's... Oh, there we go. There we go. Man, it's nothing like this. This is not a big fish, but man, when they stop this spinnerbait, <laughs> there's nothing like it. Got him? Missed another one. We need to put that spoon away. Man, he hit like a ton of bricks. And this fish is what, nine inches? <laughs> All right, so I want to show you something. You see that? That's the camps at Lake Hermitage. That's how far we went today. I don't think we burned one eighth of a gallon of gas. If you fished here, your fuel would go bad before you burned it all. Definitely like this place. Now, here's a little bit of bad news. If you're intending to come fish here, there used to be a washboard shell road coming into this place five miles off of Highway 23. Bubby said it would take 20 or 30 minutes to get back here. Well, they recently paved it. <laughs> now, the bad news with that is that's definitely going to lead the crowds into this area. But man, look, there's a whole lot of fishable area in here. We haven't even touched it. We didn't even go into Lake Hermitage yet, and we're not going to. Our trip is done. We've got some stuff to take care of, and it's only 10 a.m. 10 a.m. we caught all these fish. I will be back. I promise you that. But I got another tip for you if you're going to come down here, but you got to wait to see what it is. All right, so this road we're on, newly blacktop, used to be all shell. That's why nobody came to Lake Hermitage. But we're heading to your final tip of the day, so stick with us. All right, so right there is the Bell Chase Naval Air Station and right across from it is a place called LA 23 barbecue Definitely without question the best barbecue you can get in South Louisiana. This place is incredible Hey, are you I need to get a uh, pulled pork plate with coleslaw and beans Trust me, it's the best thing ever. All right, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Get on down here to Lake Hermitage, because you're going to love it. The place is incredible. Until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh or here at uh, LA23 Barbecue, we'll see you right here on Marsh Man Masson.